Hey guys, thank you for watching. As you can tell, I don't have anything on my face except for foundation and my eyebrows and mascara. Because we are going to be testing out the new KKW Beauty um, Cream Contour and Highlight Kit. I ordered the shade medium and then when I ordered and I placed my order, I was like, dang it, I should have got the dark because I'm a little tan right now and I don't know if medium is going to like give me the contouring that I want slash like. So that's what ordered the dark and I've been waiting for the dark for like three days now and it hasn't came in. It's not going to come until next week so I was just like, what the heck, let's just go ahead and do this video. Because I ain't got time to be waiting. I'm too anxious to try this out. Like, I, it's just been sitting here forever. And I'm just like, I can't wait. I didn't get invited to the KKW Beauty Lunch, of course, because um, Kim Kardashian doesn't know who I am. So, I'm going to be giving you my honest review on this product. I bought this with my own money, of course. And I'm, I don't know. I'm excited, but then, okay, here's, let me just tell you what I felt whenever I first saw her Snapchat it and Instagram or whatever. I saw it and she showed the packaging and I was like, what? It grossed me out. I was just like, really? Like, Kim's always doing all kinds of crazy shit and always surprising people, you know? And so when I came with this packaging, I was like, it makes sense for Kim Kardashian like to have this, but guys, this looks so cheap. Like, this looks like, um, you know how whenever you at, you're at Forever 21 and you're in line to pay and there's all these little beauty products like trying to get you to buy it? That's what it looks like. It looks like I just picked it up from that little section when you're paying in line at Forever 21. It looks cheap. Some people like it. Some people hate it. I think personally it's cheap. It's Kim Kardashian. This freaking kit costs $48. Like These products in here better be good because I know that that money isn't going to packaging so that's my thoughts you might agree you might disagree i don't really care this is my opinion take that however you want it i think this is cheap it's kind of cool but it's cheap so like i like i'm like i said um this 48 dollars that you're spending better be going all into the product and i guess we will see all right so you open it up i mean you opened it you open it up and sauce and then out comes these little things. And again, looks like a little piece of meat or something that you got at the grocery store. It's kind of gross. I don't know. I don't like this packaging, guys. I don't, but it's not about the packaging, right? It's about the product. So, okay, let's just open this. Um, how do you open this? And is there like a little, oh, okay, there's a little thing, a little indention where you can peel this off. Okay, all right. And out comes the three, oops, I dropped one. So here are the three products. It comes with the, um, what is this one? The contour, the highlighting, and a brush. Which again, guys, whenever I saw her Snapchatting and Instagramming this, I was like, that packaging looks so cheap. And like, even when she was, that was my dog, I was trying to get inside. Even when she was swatching on the back of my hand, like on the back of my hand, on the back of her hand, you can just, you could hear it was cheap. Like, like, do you hear that? It sounds cheap. And then, so I was really excited at first. I was like, oh yeah, she's coming out with a contour stick. And then I saw that and I was really, really disappointed. And I almost didn't buy it because I was like, it just looks cheap. And I was like, well, maybe if it's 30 bucks, I'll buy it, you know? Well, then I saw it was $40, I was like, oh. Hell no, I'm not going to be buying that. It looks cheap. It sounds cheap, you know. And so I was like, no, hell no. But I'm curious, you know. And I want to try this out for myself. I want to have my own opinion. So I bit the bullet and I bought it. And not only did I buy one kit, I bought two, which the other one's not here yet, like I said. Let's just wash these. So this first little stick is the medium highlight. I do like the color of the packaging, but I just feel like it's kind of cheap, but you know, what else? So here is number two. And this is the, um, 
what is this? The highlight, like the shimmery highlight. And it's, it's a pretty highlight. I like that. I like that a lot. And then on the other side, this is number one and I'm pretty sure this is the matte shade. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. It's promising. I personally wouldn't use like something like this in matte shade under my eyes. I like my concealer. So when I see stuff like this, I don't really use it. But the cream highlight, the shimmery one, I like. But we will just see how this applies on the face. So I can't really judge it right now. For the contouring, we have the number one. I do like that it's a little pointy, but whenever you start using it, that point is going to get lost. So we will just see. So here's the first contour shade. So warm type shade. Looks pretty good. And then we have the number two, which is a darker shade. Can y'all see that? This one looks a little bit cooler. I think this is going to work pretty well for my skin tone. Maybe I shouldn't have ordered that dark one. And then last, but I think it is least, um, is this brush. Again, whenever I saw her Snapchat it, I was just like, that is so gross. Oh, okay, Kim, I'm sorry, but like no one, no one uses stuff like this. Literally, like, come on, let's be honest. Do you use the brushes that comes with the kit when you get stuff like this? Like, did L'Oreal or Revlon or someone try to come out with something like this and that was a major fail? So the fact that Kim came out with something like this is kind of stupid, I think. But I mean, we'll see if it works. And if it works, I will take back my words. I will eat my words. It comes with a brush on the other side. Again, I think this looks a little cheap, but if it works, then I guess it's worth it, right? Okay, so like I said, I only have my foundation on and I've been putting concealer because I wanted to try out this concealer to see how it works. Let's just get into this. Okay, let's just like wind this up real quick. <sighs> this is all of the product that you get in here. I think that's a rip off, honestly. Like, this is not a lot of product. This is gonna last me probably like, um, I don't know, a month, two months maybe. And that's stupid train. Sorry. That's really disappointing, guys. Like, we're not paying for the packaging, and we're definitely not paying for the amount of product that we're getting in here. How much is in here? Each little side is. 0 0.032 ounces. Can I return this? Can I get my money back? Because right now I feel like it's not worth the money. So that's kind of a rope walk. We're paying for Kim Kardashian's name. Online on her Instagram page and stuff, they had models, you know, apply this under the eyes and on their forehead and I think on their chin, maybe on their nose, I'm not sure. But I mean, everywhere that you would highlight, that's what I'm going to be doing. It's going on smoothly, but it's feeling a little dry so far so let's just do that it's a really good color for my skin tone I'm a medium skin tone right now and I think it's really good and let's just try out this little sponge thing I think that Kim said that the sponge worked best if you wet it it's not horrible guys but my concern about this little sponge is like can you wash this you know, because you're being wondering you wash it pretty often, so can you wash this thing? Okay, so it blended out pretty well, and um, I can't really tell the difference that I highlighted this side compared to this side. It definitely didn't conceal or anything like that, so I wouldn't use this highlight shade um, in place of a concealer. I would probably conceal and then use this maybe if you really wanted to, but the fact that it didn't conceal my like, darkness, like you could probably still see it. I probably wouldn't be reaching for this product as often, but that's my personal preference. But I mean, I think it did good. It didn't really emphasize any pores or anything like that. It did a pretty good job. And the sponge was okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I was so mean to it. I'm sorry. Now, I'm going to contour. I'm just going to do this side first, just so you can see the difference between using this kit and not using this kit. So, um, I'm not sure what shade I should use. 
I think I'm going to use the, the number two because it's a little bit more cooler and this is what I would gravitate towards for a contouring shade. And again, let, let me just see if there's more product in this little thing. Um, no, there's not. That's it. It's so small. That's what she said. For cream contouring or anything like that, I like to draw the line a little bit higher because whenever you blend it out, it kind of tends to, you know, get dragged a little lower. So that's what I'm going to be doing. It's pretty smooth. Now I'm going to use this little thing again. And let's see. I don't really like this sponge, so I'm going to try a little brush. Okay, it's blending out really nice. But I feel like you can't really see it anymore. You can't really see the color, right? What do y'all think? Can can y'all tell that I applied this to the side, the red side? I'm gonna try to build it up. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more product because it just kind of disappeared. It didn't really show up. Okay, now it's showing up. Okay, showing up now. It's giving me a really subtle contour, which I'm not hating. I like that. It just depends on what you want. If you're going out, maybe you would want something a little bit darker. But I think for an everyday contour, it's pretty good. So now let me just contour the rest of my face. And it blends out really fast, like there's some contour products that you really have to blend. So I'm thinking that this might be good for beginners who are new to cream contouring. Um, it blends out really nice and it's really forgiving because like I said, you have to kind of build it up to get like the intensity that you want. So I think that's very good for beginners. Can y'all tell that I did something there? You know what, I'm going to try the, um, the other contouring side, contouring one. Look, okay, can you tell that the little tip is kind of going away? I'm not sure if you can tell. That kind of sucks, but that's going to happen with any contouring stick. Okay, so I'm going to do the number one. It's a little bit warmer, which is perfect for the outside perimeters of your face. It definitely, oh, this is like more subtle too. Can y'all tell that I even put anything there? It's lighter, of course. And this brush is not horrible, guys. It's, it gets the job done. All right, so what do y'all think? I like it. It's really subtle. It's very glowy, very Kim Kardashian. The highlight looks okay. I feel like it's looking a little dry on my skin and my skin has been a little bit dry lately, which is really weird for me. So I guess we'll just see how it wears out throughout the day and I'll let you know, but I think it looks pretty good. Can y'all tell the difference? It's very, it's very subtle. It's not horrible. I wish I could try out the dark shade for you, but I played myself by not ordering them at the same time. Now I'm gonna do this side. I'm gonna do it with the Beauty Blender just to see, like, if maybe if you, this brush doesn't work out for you, you don't like this brush, you think it's kind of gross that you need to wash it and you really can't. I'm not sure if you can wash this or like it gets beat up throughout, you know, where. Oh, I forgot the. Shimmery highlight, hold up. Skirt, rewind. A shimmery highlight. It's really pretty. Let's try this out. I'm gonna put it on my cheekbones. Can y'all see that? Oh, that's a pretty, pretty highlight. I like that. Jesus. Okay. I'm gonna try this little sponge thing. Okay, maybe not. It's not really funny. I see the thing that sucks is that. If you use this for your contouring, your dark contouring, you can't really use it for your highlighting because it's going to mix up the product and it's going to make it look muddy maybe. So I kind of mess up there. Can y'all see anything? I can see something. It's really subtle, but it's there. I'm going to add a little bit more and I'm going to try to blend out my finger. I like this highlight, guys. I do. I like that. Like it. Super subtle, but it's working. Also, Kim, she said that she likes to use these in her like eyes, 
and on her, I think on the bottom of her lips. So I'm gonna try that as well. I'm gonna use the number two contour because I like the cooler shade better. And I want a little bit here and a little bit in here. And I'm gonna use this little sponge thing. So if you didn't know, contouring underneath your lip creates a shadow down here, so it gives you more like pouty effect. And then putting some in here in the crease um, just kind of deepens up your eye and creates a little bit more dimension. I like that. Can y'all tell the difference between this side and this side? KKW Beauty? Uh, no beauty. I like it. Now I'm just going to go back to the side with the Beauty Blender. Ooh, I can really tell the difference between this highlight side and this one. The not highlight side. Oh, I broke it! Oh, no. I didn't even have it out all the way, did I? Let's just use a beauty blender. You know what, guys? I don't think the beauty blender does as good as a job as this little thing. Because this thing is a little bit more firmer, so it really blends out the product. Oh, shit. Do y'all see this? There was contouring product on this thing, so it kind of made this a little dark, and that's the problem with using the brush for everything. I'm gonna try to wipe off some of the product. Am I making it worse? I think I am. Oh. Can y'all see what I mean? It's looking a little dark here because I fucked up. I keep breaking this thing. It's not a good sign. I'm gonna highlight the forehead because I didn't do that a while ago, so. Use about as much highlighting as I do. Let's try this again. Ooh, I'm highlighted. Let's try to put it again. Okay. The Beauty Blender is blending out this contour pretty easily as well. So maybe it's just that the highlighting shade is really drying. Like I said, like I can feel like and look it looks like it's drying on the skin. So maybe that's why it's a little bit more of a harder consistency. Okay, and there's the result with the beauty blender. I do feel like I had to work a little bit more just to blend it out because like I said, it's the sponge is a little bit softer than the one that comes in the kit, so it takes a little bit longer, but it does the job as well. What do y'all think? Which side looks better? Beauty Blender? The KKW stick? I'm gonna contour my nose as well because I kinda forgot that. And I'm gonna use a cooler tone, so I think that was number two, right? See, it's already getting dull, so that kinda sucks, but let's try this out. I am going to use this little thing, or no, I'm going to use a little blink part. Is my nose snatched? Now for the uh, shimmer highlight. I will say that, okay, so I like this end to blend out the highlight. And I like this one for the contouring, but it's really hard to use this brush to contour your nose. It's, I feel like it would be a little hard because it's kind of big. And this one has a little bit more position, 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 position. I don't know, fuck, how do you say that word? Anyways, you can really get in here and like do this little bit and really blend out your nose contour and stuff like that. Now for the shimmer highlight. I do like this shimmer highlight a lot. I'm not gonna lie. And it doesn't really accentuate any pores or anything like that, which I'm, I'm liking. I'm kind of, I'm gonna use this side 
but I'm kind of trying to rub off any extra stuff on there. I'm gonna put some wind nose in. And let's try it with the beauty blender. Okay, the beauty blender blends it out really nicely. Pretty effortlessly. So now that I have all this, I'm gonna apply a little bit of blush. Not too much, just because I feel like it looks a little off. Just a little bit. And I'm gonna apply some lipstick off camera, and then I'll be right back with my final thoughts for you guys, so stay tuned. All right guys, so I am back with my final thoughts, and I did apply some of the shimmer highlight on the inner corners of my eyes and on my brow bones. Can you see that? I am living for this highlight. So my final thoughts on the KKW Contouring Kit. It's hard. It's I have a lot of pros and have a lot of cons. So I think these are a good product. I think for my skin tone, I did get the Medium Contouring Kit. For me right now, I'm a little bit darker than I usually am. This is perfect for an everyday subtle contour. Nothing too crazy, you know gonna go work at the office, gonna go run some errands, something super easy. I think that the, if you're a medium skin tone or a skin tone similar to mine, this is a perfect kit for you. Now, for going out, I do feel like I'm gonna be using more of a dark contouring kit if those shades work out for me whenever I do get that in. And all these products work nice. They're really good products, except for the matte highlighting shade. I don't like it. Um, I'm not sure if it's because I am a little bit drier right now, but it's it, it looks dry and it's I don't know I don't I'm not liking it. It's not concealing anything like that. I would just use a regular concealer instead of that matte highlight shade. Um, and like I said, it didn't conceal anything. Not that it claims to conceal anything, but for me, whenever I'm highlighting, I want something that's going to do both. So I probably wouldn't use it, maybe over a concealer. I'll try it, but I don't like it by itself and it looks a little dry. It's not uh, settling into the fine lines or creases underneath my eyes. Um, so I guess that's good. The contouring shades I really like. I like that she gives you two choices, a more warm and a more cool. Um, I like the cool to really sculpt out my cheekbones. You will see, I really liked it. And I like the warmer for more around the face. I do like the brush. I know and I was like, oh, this looks really cheap and stuff. But I do like it. It's not horrible. I, like I said, I liked this part for that matte highlight because it's a little bit more drier and it's a little bit more stiff so you can really blend it out. And I had a hard time blending it out with my bean blender, which is kind of weird. But this one worked well for that. And to really get into the little more precise areas like your um, crease, your, do your nose and stuff like that. That was perfect for that. This side was perfect to blend out your contouring everywhere around your face. It wasn't good for the highlight underneath, but it was good for the shimmer highlight. I think either side was good for the shimmer highlight. The shimmer highlight, guys, oh my God. it's beautiful. Look, it's, it gives you a really glow from within type of look. It is gorgeous. It's really, it's really subtle as well. Like I said, this contouring kit for me is really subtle, and I think you would probably run out of products before you could really build it up to something like really sharp and fierce. Honestly, because like I said, there's not much product, which brings me up, brings me to my next point. There's not a lot of product in this contouring kit which for me makes this contouring kit not worth the money. I feel like if you had double the amount of product that they give you, it'd be worth the money because it's a good product. It's, it blends out really nice. It's really good for beginners, but it's not worth the money. It's not worth the $48 that you're paying for these little things, you know? It's not worth it. I feel like if it was $30 or something like that, then maybe it would be worth it. But even at that, I think that would be pushing it. So I think that if Kim wants to improve these products, the only thing she'd really have to improve is the amount of product that you're getting in. 
and the highlight because the highlight's a little drying. Maybe something a little bit more smooth. I don't know, just something more creamy. Maybe making it a little bit more opaque to actually conceal under your eyes because I'm, I know that not most people use two different concealers. They usually just go in with one and they expect it to highlight and to correct that darkness underneath the eyes. I know I'm not the only one who would probably think that. And like I said, like at the, at the beginning of this video, I was like, since this thing probably costs like five cents or something, all of that money that you're spending, all $48 that you're spending, um, should be going into the products. And that's not the case. Um, you get a little bit for your money. So like I said, I'm just kind of repeating myself now. If it was, there's double the, the amount of product in here, it would be worth it. But if it was like 30 something like that you are paying for Kim Kardashian West's name for this product but it is a good product so I think that if you are a Kardashian fan a Kim Kardashian fan you might think that this is worth it but for someone who's really looking for a good contouring kit that's not going to you know put them in debt or something because this is 50 bucks for just round it up $50 plus your shipping is another 10 bucks like it's it's not worth it. It's not worth the money. The product's good, but it's not worth the money. So y'all saw how it applied. If y'all like a really subtle contouring, everyday glam, this is perfect, but not worth the money. So I think just make your own personal opinion. Do you want to spend $48 or do you want to go out to CVS or where, wherever they sell, um, what is it called? The LA Girl con like concealers and get that for $2.99 each. Just as good just it doesn't blend out as easily um, you could do that and save you a lot of money I am definitely gonna keep using this because I mean I'm gonna try to get my $48 back or out of this but it's not I'm, I know I'm not gonna be getting my $48 out of this because they totally ripped me off Kim K you ripped me off you're, you're ripping everyone off honestly because you didn't give a lot of product girl like come on now like I know you got monies I know you, you can give us a little bit more product okay so yeah, I'm gonna maybe do a little check-in at the end of the day so I can kind of see how it wore. Maybe this highlight under here starts to melt into my skin, maybe it starts to get more crackly, I don't know. Um, I'll try to put that at the end of this video, but for now, I think those are all of my thoughts. And give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. If you want me to do more reviews, let me know what you want me to review, and I will give you my honest opinion. Always, always, always. So yeah. I think that's all I have to say about this KKW Beauty contouring kit, and I'll see you in my next video.